Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install Splunk on RHL 9. But the process is same on RHL 8 also. First, go to Splunk.com. Open Firefox. Go to Splunk.com. Click on products. Then click on free trials and downloads. Click on it. Scroll down. See here we have the Splunk Enterprise Edition. Click on get my free trial. See it is used 500 MB per day for 60 days. Okay. After that we have to register. So click on get my free trial. I will keep this link in the video description. Then we have to fill all these details. Provide email. Then provide the password. Once we fill all the details, we should be able to click on create your account. See, still it is grayed out. So click on select it and click on the create your account. So we have to select both the check boxes. Then only we will be able to click on create your account. Click on it. Don't save. It is just confirmation. So select click on verify. See, we will receive the email. So go to the mail and verify. So we will receive mail like this. So we will receive mail like this one. Okay. Then we have to click on the link. Select the Linux. See the Splunk Enterprise Edition at the time of making this video is 9.2.1. Okay. So click on Linux. Then see here we have the packages for .debian, zip file and RPM. So for RHL or CentOS or Oracle Linux or Fedora we have to download this RPM. Click on download. Wait, it will download automatically. Here it will show the download. If it won't download automatically you have to click on this try this URL. See, download has been started and its size is 679 megabytes. Wait until this download completes. See, download is completed. Now open terminal. Go to download CD. Go to downloads. See, here we have the RPM. So install it by running the command sudo rpm hyphen i then give the splunk package and hit enter then provide the password of sudo user. See it is completed. Control L to clear screen. Now it has created a directory in this opt directory. cd opt ls c. It has created the Splunk directory. Go to Splunk directory ls. Now we have to start the Splunk by going to the cd bin ls. See here, somewhere here we have this start. If we are not sure, go here, hover mouse on resources, then right click on documentation, new tab, click on Splunk Enterprise, click on installation media, select the install Splunk Enterprise on Linux or Mac OS, then click on install on Linux, then go to the bottom, then we have to run this command to start this Splunk ok so we have this Splunk here so sudo dot Splunk start and hit enter then provide the sudo password see it is one percent so press spacebar from your keyboard then type y and hit enter then provide the administrator username so I am giving Splunk it can be anything 
Splunk underscore admin. Then provide the password for this user. That is Splunk underscore admin. Wait until this completes. See here, it turns on the port number 8000. See, we have successfully started. Copy this one or copy this one. See, R2 school is the host name. Even if you give the host name, see, this is the host name. Okay. Copy all three are the same. Even we can give the local host. I will show you one by one. Copy it. Go to new tab. Paste it. Then copy this one. Open in another tab and Copy this one, paste it, hit enter. The third way is give the local host, then 8000. Hit enter. All three will get the same login console or the login page. Okay. See here, it is asking username, password. This also asking the same. Even this will also ask the same. Let me provide username and password. So username I have created is Splunk underscore admin then provide the password and hit enter. Don't save. So password is wrong then provide the correct password. Then click on sign in. See it is typo. So give L and hit enter. See we got the Splunk console. See we got, even if we give the local host it give the same link. So I am cancelling th these two. Okay. So, if you want to see the search and reporting, you have to click on it. Okay, got it. Skip. Okay, you can do whatever you want. Okay, skip the tour. If you want to create table, you have to click on it. If you want to go to the analytics, you have to click on this tab. If you want add filters, you have to click on it. If you want to see the list data sets, you have to. Okay. If you want to go back, click on home dashboard. If you want to see the dashboard, want to create or choose a home dashboard you have to click on this one then you have to choose the from the list okay cancel cancel it you want to change the password click on administrator then account settings if you want to give the name but admin is the same but this is the full name of the admin and if you want to provide any email you can provide here this is the current password and the, if you want to set new password you have to provide the password here okay then we have to click on save so in this video we have seen how to install and configure splunk on rhl 9 but the process is same for rhl 8 also for more splunk videos please subscribe my channel thank you